I use that risk in the environmental remediation industry having to do with um, understanding the cost of, a, of an environmental cleanup, being able to predict the cost and the time to do the cleanup, as well as uh, doing portfolio models for large groups of sites, so under, understanding the total um, liability uh, that a company might have associated with all of its environmental properties. So I've been using the software since, I think, 1994. I've been consulting using this software and actually made a career out of uh, using at risk and uh, risk optimizer precision tree. And what I really like about it is, is the power of the tools. Um, I find them easy to use. I, I, I think they're user friendly. And um, I, I like the fact that it all resides within Excel. So it's something I can share with my clients or I can get data from them in Excel and then pass it back to them. Um, I think that they've got great graphics for communicating the results to the clients. And um, so I, I think when you combine the power and the, the graphic output, it uh, becomes a, a very strong communication tool for letting clients know, you know what, is, what is the best, what's the optimal decision to make and you know why we think there's so much cost or so much risk there. And uh, the sensitivity analysis is a powerful feature and it's, it, it does the sensitivity analysis very well. I really like the advanced sensitivity analysis. and. Um, I find that with the sensitivity analysis, it really helps to draw the clients in to understanding what things they need to manage and to better understand the risk. Well, what I like about the, what looks good about the new 5.0, it looks like they even improved the graphic features more. I like the fact that you can overlay the, the mean and the median and the mode right in the, the distribution to help clients understand that. Uh, I think the fact that you can see the distributions in the, uh, when you're looking at sort of the output files and it's showing all the distributions or the inputs, what's driving the model, that looks very nice. Um, I think the fact that you'll be able to now send the, the, the software or send your model to a client in Excel and easily remove the functions, because it used to be that you'd have, you'd have to do like a copy paste and paste over the functions and send it out as a values only, but now it, you know, I think that'll be integrated in a way too that you won't have a quality control issues. That looks, that's very important. So the fact that we can share those files easily and not lose the quality control is going to be very important.